Good afternoon, everybody. I'm gonna make a bigger video this evening. Bigger video, that doesn't mean like wider and bigger. A uh, longer video this evening, but before I do the numbers for tonight for the, the uh, COVID-19 in Connecticut, I gotta ask you, do you trust the, the, the numbers that you're seeing by the Connecticut Department of Health? I don't. Um, I, I, I believe that the numbers are lower than what they have predicted. They're not more, because if they are more, they would definitely add on more, trust me. They, they, these government figures, they love adding numbers up. They, they like to put on more. But what I have an issue is that from February 1st to February 2nd, I want to share something really quick with you. You know, I was I was heartbroken to see something, and then I was even more heartbroken to think, I think the government doesn't know what they're doing. And when I mean government, I mean a lot of government. But between the age of zero and nine, there was one death. And between the ages of, where am I? I'm trying to find it. But yeah, 20 and 29, there was six deaths. Now, both of those went up by one, because it was... Uh, because on February 2nd, there was two from zero to nine. I was like, oh man, it's not good. 2029, it was seven. I'm like, oh man, that's not good. But then as I go down, I notice something. Between the ages of 40 and 49, one death went missing. And between the ages of, oh, where is it? There was a missing death somewhere here. Now I can't find it. There was two deaths and taken off. There it is. So taken off. And they happen to be added on. So how did that happen? So I want to explain something. A while back, it went pretty simply. Zero to nine, there was one death. Uh, ten to nineteen, there was one death, and then there was um, six deaths from ten uh, twenty to twenty nine. Uh, and then all of a sudden, there was two deaths, a zero to nine, one death, and six deaths. Then there was one death, one death, seven. One and then one one six, and then it was one two one and two and then three. You find that a little suspicious that the numbers are all over the place, and people will say, Oh, it's a clerical error. Well, someone's life should not be a clerical error. That's number one. Someone's life is not a clerical error. When you tell me, when people tell me, I don't care because I don't wear my mask or you don't care about senior citizens. I will go back at you with this simple thing. I do care, by the way. And they say, you're not following the signs. In fact, I am. 88 point, well, we're actually, we're up to 88.4% of senior citizens who do not get COVID. Less than 1% even die of COVID. I'm sorry, 88.4% survive COVID if they get it. Uh, 0 0.007, I've said this before, Less than 1% of the senior citizens in all of Connecticut even died of uh, COVID. And I think it was 5.5%. Could be slightly higher now. Maybe 5.59%. I don't know. We'll break that number down later. Even get COVID in the first place. Even get tested positive for it. So I don't make that mistake. In fact, when I break down the numbers, I go through it two or three times to make sure I didn't calculate something wrong. But the Connecticut Department of Health, you do this for a living. This is your job. And you can't get the numbers right? Are you not sure where you want to cheat the numbers? And I said this a while ago, and I should have made a video about it. I was waiting for the younger ages to go up. Because once we all have got, and a lot of people are wise to what's going on now. And then, as everybody was wise and everybody was onto it, the new strains popped up. These are not, con call me a conspiracy theory all you want. Call me a conspiracy theorist. A theorist. Sorry, I couldn't get that out. Do I believe in conspiracies? No. But I believe in things that are true. If it sounds like a conspiracy and it happens to be true, then I'm not sure that it's a conspiracy anymore. You're being lied to. And that's why I track these numbers every single day. Most of which I print out and write the day it happens off their website. Or I have snapshots on my phone if I'm not home. Near a printer, I make sure I take a snapshot of it immediately before someone tries to mess with the numbers and lie to people. You gotta hold your state accountable. And now you wanna go two masks. That's why I'm more upset now. I'm like, you wanna go double masks now? I'm done with Dr. Fauci for the fact that I gave him a chance in the beginning until I realized who he really was. I never even heard of the guy before. Well, I shouldn't say that. I thought I recognized the guy's name. 
I wasn't sure, but then when I did the research, I didn't realize, oh, he's been around since 1980. So every problem we've ever had in the 80s that wasn't solved, he was there for. Well, that, that's a great thing. Ridiculous. Listen, we have to pay attention to what's going on. This is, it's, it's getting crazy. It's getting out of control. It's, I don't have any better words. So I'm going to leave you with this. 88.4% survival rate's good. Be happy with that. And pray for more. God bless. I love you. Have a nice day.